Let's look at tripods. The Mark IV tripod served with the Vickers from when it was adopted on the 26th of November 1912 all the way through to the end of service in 1968. And this Mark IV tripod was what was, you know, it stayed the same around the world with few commercial exceptions. But I've seen it set up badly so many times. And this example is the worst of the worst. Uh, it is a combination of all, well, all but one of the errors, I would say. Um, but hopefully I can point those out and they're really, really quick about getting it right. The first things first, you can see with the gun behind, it's the wrong way around. Too many people firing general purpose machine guns and sustained fire roll um, that put the leg forward, put the, you know, the single leg forward, or browning machine guns. On the Vickers, this leg is at the rear. And you can see that I've got it on that gun there, perfectly set up at the rear. Why? Why does it matter? Because it's unstable. It will just rock backwards. You know, the recoil of the Vickers, not necessarily the way I've got it set up there, because I've got the tripod sp leg splayed a little bit, but it will rock backwards, and you just lose the accuracy that's inherent within the gun. What else do we notice while we're here? It's not flat. It's not stable. Uh, so, or it, you know, the, the direction down here, which sometimes you don't see on the tripod, sometimes it's been taken off. Yeah, those are quite available. They're sort of 40, 50 quid. They're a nice bit, you know, sometimes a little bit more probably, but they should be on every tripod. So if you haven't got one, try and find one. But this isn't flat. It should always be fat, flat. Now, the reason that is, is because I've got the tripod legs set up at different heights. There are numbers on these. 0, 10, 20, 30, and they're the angle of degrees, they should just all be the same. There's no reason for this not. I think I've got the back set up on 10 and the, these two on 20 or something like that. Um, the reason it matters is because when you come to swing the gun, so, you know, this gun looks level now. Let's take the ammunition belt out a minute, the bad ammunition belt out. When you come to swing it round, it's no longer level. So you don't have 360 degree traverse with the same stability of fire. Really important if you are using the gun in action. So, and it's not gonna fire along a straight line like that. So it would be level, just like the gun we've got back here. That's what a level direction dial looks like and the level gun. And that will swing and it will always swing on the same axis quite happily. What's had to happen here to get it level is I've had to adjust this. Um, even more, which just makes it just makes it wrong. You know, if it was if it went round 180 degrees, I'd be pointing downhill at this point. So, having said it's on backwards, also the crosshead is not in fully. This gap is quite embarrassing, actually, um, and I've seen it being set up by some very professional organisations uh, with this gap left. Why? Was well, because this this lives on the this crosshead lives on the tripod. Many people leave it attached to the gun because it equals out the weight a little bit actually. Um, makes, it, makes it easier to carry the gun. Excuse my finger there. Um, but what you'll find is this here can just be undone. If you can't undone it, un undone it, undo it, it means that actually there's a piece that's come off inside. If you undo that, it will go down. Now, done. Quick win, instant, not a problem. You do that back up and it won't come back out. And just use the pins to take the gun off. Don't just lift it up. 